Dr. Pero Micic, thank you very much for your time and for supporting NG Innovation Week. It's a pleasure. My personal impression is that the world is spinning faster and faster and disruptive changes may occur. So my first question is, what kind of innovation, what driving forces, which trends will affect us, society and economic life in the upcoming years? Well, wow, that's a big question. So if we had a week to discuss, we would cover them all, all the trends. But uh, since we don't have that time, I would summarize it in one trend. We as humans will be replaced in our capabilities. So we will not be the crown of creation any longer. In many capabilities, we will no longer be number one, which is perceiving and sensing something, understanding, thinking, creating, deciding, acting, and all those disciplines will artificial intelligence, together with robotics and other digital technologies, be better than humans. You've mentioned a lot of technological aspects. What about the non-technological aspects? Are there any? Well, sure, many trends are apparently non-technological. So be it the trend to more autocratic governments and more nationalistic attitudes of nations, um, just to name a few. But even these trends are driven by technology. We have those, um, well, a very complex system where technology is always the pacemaker. Humans do not change that fast. Technology does. So technology drives us to change. And this is why looking at future changes, technology is always the most important factor. It's us who react and us who decide which technology we use in which way. You were also talking about digitalization. What impact does digitalization have on us? Well, digitalization has been around for 70 years now. Um, what appears to be new results from three factors. First, as described, the massive exponential increase of power and capabilities of the technologies. Second is the use of digital technologies in additional domains like synthetic biology or energy. And third, the fact that the potential of technology have finally reached a broad spectrum of the population. Today, virtually everybody can see it and discuss it in panic. In essence, we are experiencing and will be witnessing the next and most powerful technological revolution of all times. Um, so, will digitalization have an effect? It already has. It has had it for 70 years um, and it's going to continue. I would also reflect a little bit on energy. Looking at energy companies or utilities, what are the major impacts, the major changes which we will have to face in the coming years? Well, looking at it from an outsider's perspective, uh, one trend is already here. Information about the utility has become a lot more valuable. In part, the information is more worth than the utility itself. More important is to see what is only just at the beginning of significance or what is counterintuitive. So in most markets, we traditionally perceive electricity as expensive. But we are approaching a time where electricity could be unbelievably cheap or even for free. Nobody knows when, but it's not science fiction. With cheap electricity, in turn, we can desalinate way more water from the oceans. So the idea, the scenario that we will fight wars over drinking water well, most likely not. And we had such deflationary developments in many markets. Look at your smartphone. Um, judged by all the products and services that it replaced, it's worth over a million euro. Um, it's all deflated, it's all deflationary. And uh, this could happen with your market as well and other markets too. So is this a dangerous threat? Is it the most important one in the long term? Of course, because it destroys the business. Thank you very much for these insights and for the outlook to the future. Thank you for watching. See you soon at Thank Angie. You.